Welcome to Excellent Grades Academy. This is Dr. Bison E.M. We're doing organic chemistry today and we're looking at alkyl halides. Under alkyl halides, we are looking at E2 and E1 reactions, which are elimination reactions. All right. So now, what are elimination reactions? So elimination reactions. Okay. So these are reactions of alkyl halides where the beta hydrogen so beta hydrogen which is acidic is grabbed or obtained obtained or reacts so it reacts with a base to form a double bond a double bond okay so now if this is an alkyl halide here say this is our alkyl halide Very simple illustration. Let me use a different color here. This carbon here is an alpha carbon. So this is an alpha carbon. And then this carbon here is a beta carbon. The, halogen, the hydrogens that are attached to the beta carbons are what we call beta hydrogens. So these beta hydrogens are acidic. You know that acids always attract a base. Okay, so if there is a base in solution, a base is anything that is negatively charged or has a lone pair of electrons. This base is going to react with these hydrogens here. And then these electrons will form, okay, the base, the acidic, sorry. So this is the, this is the, the acidic hydrogen. So this is the, the beta halogen here, hydrogen. So these electrons will now collapse between the alpha and the beta carbon. So the double bond will collapse, will form, the double bond will form between the alpha and the beta carbon. So the base is going to grab the acidic hydrogen and then these electrons that were attaching the beta hydrogen to the beta carbon are going to form a double bond between the alpha and the beta carbon. That's how elimination reactions occur generally. Okay. So now what we should know is that elimination reactions. So elimination reactions occur at high temperatures. So at high temperatures compared to substitution reactions compared to substitution reactions. Okay. There are two types of elimination reactions. So two types. One is E2 reactions. E2 reactions. And the other type is E1 reactions. Okay. So let's look at these two reactions and look at the mechanisms for which they occur. E2 reactions. So these occur in one step. So they occur in one step and they occur very fast in, so they occur faster in primary alkyl halides as compared to secondary alkyl halides as compared to tertiary alkyl halides. Right, so that's how E1, E2 reactions occur. Let's give an example of an E2 reaction and how it occurs. So this is A here. If I have an alkyl halide here, this is a primary alkyl halide, and I'm reacting it in, uh, I'm reacting it with ethoxide 
in ethanol at 100 degrees Celsius. See the temperature is very high. What is going to happen in the mechanism here is that this is the alpha carbon because this alpha carbon is attached to the halogen and then this is the beta carbon because this is the carbon that is attached to the alpha carbon here. This beta carbon has got acidic beta acidic beta hydrogens. So this base will come and it will get this beta hydrogen because it is acidic. And then these electrons that were connecting the beta carbon and the beta halogen are going to collapse here and form a double bond between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon and this will kick out the living group like that. Okay. So now this reaction mechanism is going to form this transition state. So the bromide will be leaving like that. The double bond will be forming and this bond will be breaking. This is a transition state that will be happening and then this hydrogen will be got by the ethoxide here. So the double bond is an unstable bond so there's going to be two positive charges here because it contains a lot of energy. So this is what is going to happen in an E2 reaction. At the end of it, we are going to form an alkene. So the alkene will be formed here as a product. There will be an alkene there. And the ethoxide will gain an, a hydrogen there. So these will be our products. After an E2 reaction. So that this is how an E2 reaction occurs. The base will get the acidic hydrogen, beta hydrogen, and then the electrons that were connecting the beta hydrogen to its beta carbon will collapse between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon, and it will kick out the, the living group. Never forget to write the transition state. So write the transition state because it carries max as well. It's very, very important. Very important. Okay, so that's how E2 reactions occur. Now, let's look at E1 reactions. E1 reactions. E1 reactions, these occur in two steps. So these occur in two steps. Step one. is formation of a carbocation. Formation of carbocation. Step two is formation of double bond. So formation of a double bond by a base. So elimination reactions, first order, so these occur uh, readily or very fast in tertiary alkyl halides, greater than secondary alkyl halides, greater than primary alkyl halides. They don't even occur in methyl halides. Okay. So let's look an ex at an example of these reactions. Example. If we have this alkyl halide here and you are reacting it with tet butoxide in tet butyl alcohol at 75 degrees Celsius. So this is a tertiary alkyl halide. Okay? And uh, this is a bulky base. It's a very bulky base. So the first thing that is going to happen is that this living group is going to leave. So in step one, formation of carbocation, okay? Formation of carbocation, positive charge. So what is going to form 
is a cabo cation here. So there will be a cabo cation. If that cabo cation forms, then there's going to be the base, the tetrabutoxide base, is going to get this acidic. It will get this acidic hydrogen here. So to come and get this acidic hydrogen, and then these electrons are going to collapse between the acidic hydrogen and the the acidic hydrogen. The uh, the electrons are going to collapse between the alpha carbon here and the beta carbon, forming a double bond. So our product is going to be like this: plus tetrabutyl alcohol. So that is how. Elimination one reactions, step AE1 reactions occur. There are two steps formation of a carbocation and then nucleophilic uh, or the base is going to react with this acidic beta hydrogen here, forming the double bonds. Okay. Let's do the third example. Okay. So what if you have this example here? And you react with this with tetrabutoxide. Okay. In tetrabutyl alcohol at 85 degrees Celsius. So step one, as usual, this will live on its own for being a carbocation. So forming a carbocation here. Okay. And then we've got a base in solution. So now the question is, this is the alpha carbon. This is a beta carbon. This is a beta carbon. Even this is a beta carbon. Which hydrogen is the base going to get? Is it from this, from this, or this? So the answer here is that it's going to get the hydrogen from this beta carbon. Why? Because this beta carbon is more substituted than these two. So this base will come and get this, this hydrogen. And then these, these electrons that we're connecting this beta hydrogen here and this beta hydrogen here and the beta carbon will collapse between the alpha carbon and the beta carbon. So this is going to be our major product so major product but it is not going to be our only product because it the like double bond can also form here so this will be our minor product so that is how elimination one reactions occur let's look at our last one and then we'll be done with this video okay so what if we have this and i tell you this will occur by a bulky base and at high temperature. So first step, as usual, this leaves and then it will form a carbocation here. But there's a hydrogen here. So there's going to be a hydride shift and it will form this product. The hydrogen will connect here and the carbocation will be here. There's a hydride shift because this carbocation is more stable when it's at a tertiary carbon, which is here, than when it is at a secondary carbon here. That's why the hydride shift happens. And then our tetrabutoxide in solution will now come and get the hydrogen here, okay, forming our alkene there. Or it might get this hydrogen here. And then if it gets that hydrogen there, our alkene will be like this. So, of course, this will be our major product because it formed the most stable carbocation, and this will be our minor product. Okay. So, that is how elimination one reactions occur. This video concludes our Q highlights, and the next thing that we'll be doing is alkenes so for alkenes you can register at our academy at plus two six zero nine seven five four nine
7790 okay and then we'll be dealing with alkenes and alcohols so the videos for alkenes and alcohols are already available register and they'll be made available to you i'll see you in the next video